Hello, everybody in movie trivia schmodown universe. This is such an amazing, amazing season. So here is why it is so important for Patreon. Patreon is the lifeblood of movie trivia schmodown. It has been for a very long time. We are doing three pay-per-views versus, and that will be one match, one big match, the throwdown, also two big matches inside of the throwdown, and then at the end of the month, Battlefield. So that's five big pay-per-view matches, and guess what? If you are at the $10 level, you get all three of them. You're also going to get one commentary match a month. So let's say that uh, Rachel Cushing and Mike Kalinowski decide they're going to watch their San Diego Comic-Con match together and they're going to comment on it. You guys will get that at the $10 tier it up. $20 and up. We are doing special Q&As with certain patrons. So Dan Merle just won a match. Well, if you're the $20 patron, the link will be sent out. You can join the stream and ask question right after his match. And this, I didn't even mention the exhibition. You get an exhibition match also. Exhibition that will happen once a month that you guys will get. Patreon.com slash Schmodown. Join today. It's all going to be worth it, but we thank you. We thank you for your support and everything that you have done. Now, go enjoy the match. Enjoy the program. Whatever you're watching on SEN, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. My my guess is Cabrera. I know that Di Melanta has that accuracy. I know that he can do it, too. Uh, and frankly, he's scarier. For the Star Wars Championship of the World, the longest reigning movie trivia schmodown champion of all time, Alex the Demon Demon against Andrew the Hunter Dimolanta. I know how intense he is. Yeah, I wouldn't mind breaking another record. William Bibiani, Paul Oyama in the undercard. That's an undercard match. All you gotta do is sign up patreon.com slash schmodown. Hello, Schmodown community. I'm Grace Hancock, but you knew that. And I just wanted to introduce myself as your new president, your first female president, your best president, and quite frankly, just the first and the last. So look, the world is changing. Isn't it time that the Schmodown did too? Christian Harloff, God bless him. The man can hardly speak. He's outdated, he's not good at this job. Quite frankly, none of us really like him. Isn't it time for a president with conviction, with great ideas that I came up with on my own that I don't have to go to google.com or a Facebook group for? Isn't it time to have somebody attractive, charismatic, who has style and who can speak basic English? I personally think that we're all ready for that. And I'm really excited to bring you guys an exciting, awesome season full of matches that you guys are going to freak out over. And I'm really excited to be announcing some of them today. So please close your windows. Your neighbors will call 911 because you nerds are about to start screaming. So coming in hot on March 31st, let's get some ladies up in here, please. And thank you. The Boston badass Paige Fabretti is going to take on PG Peggy Gubbins. On April 1st, we're going to be starting the path towards the next IG contender with the Barbarian facing off against Alex Damon. And I'll have a muzzle waiting for Roxy because, you know. On Friday, April 2nd, Final Exam will face Shazam for a number one contender match for the Teams Championship. That's right, I'm bringing back Teams because I have ideas and I'm not afraid to enforce them. And also, Christian, or as I like to call him, Little Bitch, because I think it suits him, we can all agree, we're going to be doing Teams and the winners will face the odd couple for the titles. On Wednesday, April 7th, two new rookies. Now, I love this guy. The tyrant Ty Lieberman will face Bradley Tingle. I'm excited. On Thursday, April 8th, Griffin Newman against bleh, Mark Hoyk and his creepy entourage. What? Cra corruption? I think that's right. Corruption? Am I saying that correctly? Corruption? Oh, that's right. Nobody cares. Friday, April 9th, Eric Whiteley versus John Hoey. Are you guys freaking out yet? Now, in our very first pay-per-view of the month, on April 9th, we have a throwdown. And the undercard, someone who has just had the short end of the stick, but no more. The spotlight will be on my girl, sassy Stacey Howard, as she takes on Kevin Goodenough-Smith. And in the main event, 
Adam Collins and his horrendous manager, Shannon Plastic Crown Barney, will face off against Dan Merle. What a treat. Oh, and then on <laughs> Wednesday, April 14th, God, you know, I, I don't remember making cloning legal in the Schmodown, but when you have all this power, it's honestly hard to keep track because I don't know if anybody has seen Kate Mulligan's new thing, but she's trying to be me. Honey, you wish. Like, go make a Lunchables. Anyway, she thinks this guy's going to be great. So she has Thomas Harper. Okay, well, he gets Adam Witt in the Star Wars division. Thursday, April 15th, another very promising rookie, King Khan, will take on YouTube superstar John Flickinger. I'm very excited. And on April 16th, okay, Kate, I'm going to give your boy Ben Goddard a chance as he will be facing JTE. I am so happy to have JTE back. And I'm so excited to see how Kate does. She truly is the Miley Cyrus to my Madonna. Good luck, sweetie. All right, and then another fun ladies on the ticket on Tuesday, April 20th. I'm all about this. I have two new rookies again that are going to have the chance to prove themselves on Wednesday, April 21st. We have Schloth versus May. Mm -mm -mm. And then something that I personally am really looking forward to on April 22nd. I finally have my two least favorite ladies here to hopefully just cancel each other out. So we have Roxy. You might remember her. She's generally confused, very blonde. And then Shannon. I don't. You know, that's not, you know, it's it's written here, but I just, it's not ringing a bell. But I don't know, Roxy versus Shannon. So we're going to put Jacoby Bancroft with Jacob London and just let those two tear each other apart. Who's excited for that? I know I am. And then, of course, a couple other legends. We have a legendary match Friday, April 23rd. I'm putting McWeenie against Lon Harris. Who's the best president there's ever been? Obviously me. And then, of course... Obviously, I'm going to deliver for the free for all four Saturday, April 24th, 40 competitors. The winner gets a title shot of their choosing. And God, it has just been so cringe watching poor Harloss just bumble over what to do with the prize, over how to like pronounce basic words. I mean, the poor man. Can we just put him to bed, please? You know what I mean? Like, what would he have done without me? So here it is. The winner gets a title shot and the MVP will receive three points for their faction. It's pretty simple. One, two, three. I don't need a Facebook group. <laughs> and for April 28th, let's see if Roxy's adorable little motivational speeches can save Brandon Hanna against the Spider Parker. And finally, the big announcement for me, because I am the best. We will be having two tournaments starting in May. We'll have an eight-person Star Wars tournament and the winner receiving a title shot. And starting at the end of April, we'll be doing a teams tournament with eight teams and the winner will face, <laughs> wait for it, cr crap, uh, what is crap? Is it really crap? Crap? They're crap. Corruption for a number one contender shot. So, Shannon, sweetie, <laughs> get ready for a team that will be coming off three straight wins and feeling the momentum to face your ice cold former two-time champs. Rest up, sweetie. And speaking of pressure, the last pay-per-view event of the month, Battlefield will see Mike Kalinowski, wah, wah, I mean like overrated, am I right? Face off against either the Barbarian or Damon for the number one contender spot. And then the main event will be for the team's title. Odd Couple will face either Shazam or Final Exam. Whew, I mean, I'm exhausted. Literally, with one announcement, I have already completely exceeded anything Christian Harloff has ever done for this league, or quite frankly, in his life, if we're being honest. So I hope you're all happy for hating on me all this time, because look, I went ahead and did exactly what I said I was gonna do, okay? Do you wanna send me fan mail? Don't, I'm busy. I don't like you losers. You're blessed to have me, okay? Bye.
and gentlemen, welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. Thank you for joining us here. Season eight, war has been upon us. Mark Ellis and man, what a season it's been so far. So many great matches that we've already had in this young season and we're about to do it again. I'm so excited for our two competitors here today. You've got a sophomore competitor in the hurricane, Jada Paramo, who we found in the crowd in Orlando. When we went there, we put out the golden ticket. Jader was the one. He grabbed the ticket. He won the uh, the c- competition out there and said, okay, the kid's going to get a match. How is he going to perform? Well, he answered that. He went 2-1 and one last season. It was a really good performance overall. But in order to do it, Today, in order to get those points for the den where he was drafted, he's got to beat his former faction mate and former friend. And they might still be friends. I don't know. But they were studying partners, and it was Janine the Machine, who is coming off a win over the Warfather. And I'm hearing things, Mark. I'm hearing things about Janine the Machine and what she's doing. But I'll tell you. The main thing that I'm excited about is to see how Janine the Machine and Roxy Stryer are going to work together because that, to me, is maybe the best pairing of a manager that Janine could have gotten. Yeah, so many storylines bubbling up right now. Janine and Jade are two fan favorites with a lot of muscle that is in the form of movie trivia answers. But, Christian, I was on stage in my Sunday best when we met Jader for the very first time. I was calling him Jaeger because somebody yelled out Jaegermeister and it got in my head. And now he is known affectionately as the Hurricane. I was in the eye of that storm, but now there's a machine that's being tossed into that spinny cyclone thing. It's pretty much like the plot of the movie Twister. Janine's going to be Dolly, the machine that you're trying to get into the Hurricane. Jader obviously playing the role of the Hurricane. Who's going to be the cow? Probably you and me. Big matchup coming up. Massive match because both both these competitors, this is you. They both need the big win. Obviously, the faction needs to win. It's worth two big points. But it, for Janine the Machine, she's she's always been just so close. It's never been like these. Ah, oh, she just can't. She can't hang. She shouldn't be this league. Every single time that there is a defeat, it's by a five pointer. It's oh. She just missed it. She almost got there. And we've seen competitors in the past, whether it be JTE, Rachel Cushing, um, they've gone through those those seasons before. So the question is, is this season the season of the machine or is it hurricane season? We're about to find out in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's throw it to Nerd Chronic. Here we go. My worst nightmare. I hate that will perfect round one perfect round three i you know fought my hardest you know 21 to 20. i can't be mad against tom you know uh this is the third time i literally play so i I'm feeling pretty great you know i wanted to, to come out with the w but it is what it is yeah we got work to do i definitely got work to do i promise you if i, I ever get that wheel right i'm gonna get perfect round Cannot believe how lucky the stars are to welcome Janine the Machine. Come on home, baby. It is season eight. The Machine is back representing the stars, and I am ready to get to work. Janine the Machine has the potential to be a five-tool player. She's someone who is good at inner geekdom. She is good in teams. She is good in singles. And under somebody who I believe was the manager of the year last year, Roxy Stryer, I think that she can go from being good to being great. Solid pick by Roxy. Listen, Rocky is the one of the greatest managers. I mean, you know what a good boxer he is. Hmm? Roxy, Roxy, got it, that changes things. Janine has been handed some of the worst luck of any player in the entire league, and yet she still gets up and fights every single match. But guess what? That bad luck streak has come to an end because now she's a star, baby. There's no sugarcoating this. Janine will be my toughest opponent to date. Jader's somebody who I had my eye on since he almost beat Tom. My Tom last year. There's that old saying, if somebody almost beats your guy, court them in the off season, then draft him. Jader, the hurricane, I like that dude. I was literally there for his first match cheering him on. Y'all are taking this war thing really seriously, aren't you? I know who she is. I know what she can do. Just like she knows me, she know I know her, right? This is more of a teacher versus student, and we'll just see who comes up on top. You know? <laughs> she was the Mr. Miyagi to my Daniel LaRusso, the Obi-Wan to my Anakin Skywalker. 
unfortunately, war was declared this season. And now you can call me John Connor, and I'm here to stop Judgment Day. And we're ready to take on every single player who gets in our way. And yeah, that includes you, Jader. We got to play you twice last year. There's not going to be any surprises on my end, so I know that Janine is just simply better than you. Roxy also props. It's hard to talk and bike, but child, if you don't do it every day, wow, you sure do. I love you, dude, but you know what they say. All's fair in love and in war. And you can't really have war without a war machine. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm hyped up for this one. This one could have easily been on a uh, on a throwdown undercard. It could have been it could have been on a pay per view because this is a match between the future of the league. Both the Hurricane and the Machine are both the future of the league. This is going to be interesting, Mark. Not a lot of gaps in knowledge here, Christian. You're going to look at a very diverse portfolio when it comes to what these competitors are able to answer on the wheel in round number one, and it might come down to round number three. Who's going to say the right number that corresponds to the correct category that is right in their wheelhouse? I have a feeling this one could go the distance. We're not there yet, but we're about to meet two fighters ready for the prize. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Three rounds in the singles division. Introducing first, representing the den with a record of two wins, one defeat. He is the hurricane. Jader Paramo, dude, what an interesting year it was uh, for you. Get coming from the the crowd and and getting that first match, winning the match, going through tournaments, you know. And it does seem to me though that you seem to keep coming face to face with Roxy Stryer. And but this time, this time it's Roxy Stryer with your friend uh, Janine the Machine. H- how is all the prep mentally? H- how do, how does that work? It's quite the prep, man. This is the uh, teacher versus student. You know, Janine was in my faction. Janine was there for me at my very beginning. She was just constantly always coaching me. And then I'm taking all that. And now I just got to throw it right back at her, you know. Okay, Jader, but we see a young man who looks a lot more focused, perhaps, than in years past. We we saw you yeah, with the, the liquor on the cabinet and a lot of cool accoutrement. <laughs> Nothing seems to be in your way right now. You got a clear background. You got the Dookie shirt on. I have a feeling you're going to play a lot better than that based on the fact that it's a bare bones background, that it's all about the match today. That's exactly what it is. It's been quite the focus. I have such an incredible team behind me. I really feel at home with the Den. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been lights out. It's been nonstop training and question. I'll be at work and they're just shooting me questions nonstop, vice versa. It's just this faction is incredibly amazing and I'm so glad to be part of this team. All right. So, Jader, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Good luck to you. And we'll see you in just a moment. Thank you. And his opponent, representing the Stars, with a record of four wins, six defeats, and three knockouts. She is Janine the Machine. Janine the Machine with a little bit of Pep in her step. We love to see it. Janine, I said in the beginning here that I thought that being with Roxy Stryer was just the manager that you needed. You have had various managers in the past. How has working with Roxy Stryer been thus far? Uh, It's been amazing. She's always making sure she's available to me. She's in constant contact. 
really checking in on, you know, my mindset, making sure I have all the tools I need to, you know, get where I need to be. So she has been amazingly supportive and constantly checking in. Yeah, Janine, someone who you were in close contact with is now the fearsome opponent that you're going to be looking at for three rounds. That's Jader Paramo. And maybe quizzing each other back and forth, movie trivia, talking about strategy and seasons past, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. What do you make of your opponent? Are you better than him? I'm not taking him lightly. He came into this league really, you know, wanting to do well. And I was there to support him and teach him everything I knew about the game. And I think that's made him the player he is now. So I taught him things that I know. And so I know really to look out for him because, you know, he knows what I know. I know what he knows. And it's going to be tough, but I'm not I'm not taking him lightly and I'm not worried about it. So. Last question for you, Janine, before we get started here. Kate Mulligan has definitely changed uh, a lot since last season, and she's been talking a lot. She's been running her mouth, as you would say. Uh, yeah, a lot of that. has. Does, does that get into the mindset at all, or does it make you a little bit more determined that you want to shut her up? Uh, well, I know Roxy will definitely be there to shut her up for me, uh, so I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to worry about her. I'm just focused on the game and taking down my former student. Fair enough. All right, Janine, good luck to you. Looking forward to the match. All right, here we go. So, Mark, rules of round number one. How do they go? I like these grins. It's going to be a good battle, Christian, and it all starts in round number one. Eight questions from eight different corners of movie, trivia, showdown, know-how. Each question is for the point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one anyway. As soon as you hear the question... 15 seconds to get that answer onto the board that you're writing on. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please reveal your answer to the camera. Same time you verbalize it into the microphone. Doesn't matter if that microphone is below you or above you. You each have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. You're not sure you heard a question right. You need another 15 seconds for dramatic or thought purposes. Use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge you may utilize. You can initiate it as the competitor will bring your manager in, talk it over, hear the reasoning, and then your manager will ultimately confirm and ratify if said challenge is taking place. They look focused, Christian. I think that uh, you and I got our work cut out for us. We better not flub anything. No, of course not. And on the eve, uh, it, oh, not even on the eve, tonight. Tonight, this is a oh, big... Oh, we already flubbed it. Damn it. This is a big <laughs> night. This is a big night for the stars, Mark. Of course, they got Alex Damon defending the title tonight. So here is the big match there with Janine plus Alex Damon. All right, Janine, are you Ready. Ready. Jader, are you ready? Absolutely. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. All right, here we go. Round number one, question number one in the realm of fantasy sci-fi. Which classic 1970s sci-fi film features the characters named Dallas, Kane, Lambert, and Ash? Can I say golden age of fantasy sci-fi in the 1970s, Christian? At least one of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot of inventive stuff happening. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up. And we start with Janine. Uh, I just said legend. As incorrect. Uh, Jader? Alien. Alien is correct. Jader goes up uh, as we go to question number two. Here we go. All right. Question number two is in the category of movie quotes. And your question. In the Disney film, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which character says, I'm so happy I feel like bouncing? Now, does that mean like up and down or like I'm leaving? Because a lot of people, right. a lot of the kids, Christian, say, hey, I don't, I'm not having fun. I'm actually I'm going bounce. to bounce. Yeah. yeah. I used to say it to my good friend Jackie all the time. Five, four, three two one pens down hands up jader tigger yes janine tigger okay two one jader goes up by one and now here is the third category dramas tom hanks plays an american lawyer who's recruited to defend a soviet spy in which film from director steven spielberg i mean i always liked winnie the pooh i I don't know that I had a lot of use for rabbit. Is that a bad thing to say? Yes. I don't... Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up, please. Janine? 
Blanked on the name. Couldn't think of uh, it. And Jader? Bridge of Spies. Yes. Jader goes up by two now. 3-1. Three, 3-1 one, three, one, as we get to our next question mark, uh, category four. That's in the world of movie release dates. Yeah. And here's the question. For a point, which year saw the release of the film Creed? Seminal Christian rock band fronted by Scott Stapp. I think I was there when they started breaking out, by the way. When what? Started breaking out of prison. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we start with Jader. 2016. It's incorrect. Janine? I also said 2016. Looking for 2015. Mm. 2015. 2015. So, so Jader loses the perfect round there, too, but he does not lose his lead as he still is up by two as we get to our next question. Crime films. Crime films. Who plays the famous gangster Al Capone in the 2020 film Capone? Fun fact, back when we had events in the world and Christian and I were invited to him, we were at the Force Awakens premiere. I see him talking to his buddy Ryan Coogler. I go up and I say, hey, I'm excited about Creed. I hope it's my second favorite movie. Of the Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And now we start with Janine. Tom Hardy? Yes. And Jader? Tom Hardy. Okay. Four, two, four, two. Paramo still up by two as we get to our next question. Uh, number six. It's in the category of comedies. Uh huh. Uh huh. And your question. Appreciate it. For a point, Peyton Reed directed what 2008 comedy which stars Jim Carrey, Zoe Deschanel, and Bradley Cooper? I, I'm not going to say anything until after we tell what the answer is here, but like, no idea. That. Um, uh, I'll, I'll be more clear. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Jader. Yes, man. Yep. And Janine. Yes, man. Exactly. I had no idea that Peyton Reed directed that film. So uh, there you go. Ah. I learned something new every day. Thank you to PJ Campbell and the writers. Okay, here's the next one. Oscars. Which actor received Oscar nominations for his performances in the film's Cry Freedom, and The Hurricane. You gotta be honest. You really built that up. I thought I thought the payoff was gonna be more than just you didn't know. Peyton. I just didn't know. I just gotta be very careful of what I say because I don't want to. I, I don't want to do a Ken Napsack. Five, four, Whoa. three, two. Is it? Is a clip? Please. Yep. That's your first one. First one. Okay. Which actor received Oscar nominations for his performances in the films Cry Freedom and The Hurricane? All right. And that is the Hurricanes first JT rule. Christian throwing shade at Ken Napson. No, no, there's a clip on the Clips channel where he where he gave away the answer. I've done that many yeah. times. Five, four, I'm sure I have two. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And we start with Janine. Denzel Washington? Yes. Jader. Denzel Washington. Uses the time, uses the JTE, and it pays off because he sees himself six four, six four. As we get to our final question, here we go. That's right. It's in the world of horror thriller. For a point, which actress stars as an unnamed woman who lives with her husband in seclusion in the 2017 film Mother? Or as I said back in the day, Mother, Mama. Now it's a whole different movie. Or Ma. There's another different movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down and Jader. Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. And Janine. Jennifer Lawrence. Seven, five at the end of round number one. And we see ourselves with Jader Paramo doing what he's been doing since his career started here, doing very well in the first round. I know that you guys are pumped up. Well, get pumped up even more. I, if you've been watching anything I've been doing, you've hear, you've heard me raving about Stereo. It's a brand new app. I absolutely love it. I've been using it every day. I've been interacting with you guys, and I know ton of you guys are going to be doing Stereos. Hell, some of you might be doing 
Stereo right now. What is it? Stereo app, it's got thousands of live social conversations going on at the same time with a wide range for genres for every interest. It's got news, it's got comedy, it's got sports, it's got schmodown, it's got all of that. You choose whether you want to be a co-host of a stream or, uh, or you just participate as a guest and simply listen in on exclusive conversation questions. Uh, it, it's, it's super interactive. You click the share button to help people out. There's a clap button and you start to really listen in on conversation and get to interact with people that you normally won't, wouldn't be able to. It's really great. I love it. I've been addicted to it. Everybody on SEN has been. And it also, it's, it's, a one, it's one thing where people always ask, how do I podcast? I've never podcasted before. I've wanted a podcast. This is so easy. You put earbuds in. You talk to somebody else. You talk to somebody in this community. You talk to somebody, one of your friends. You start your own thing. You hashtag in movies. You set it up. You set up your own stream. You know when to do it. It's incredible. SEN, the after show that we've been doing, uh, it's every day, 12 o'clock. It's just Brett and myself cutting up jokes and just being morons and and it's been a lot of fun taking the questions from you guys and it's it's starting to catch on and you can get ahead of the curve if you join all you got to do is you go to stereo.com slash christian harloff please head on over there stereo.com sign up follow me follow some of your favorite schmodown personalities go on over there it's really great you can you can interact with me and i'll hear you and i'll be able to place a voice with a name something that we've wanted to do for a very long time and now we can do it it's great it's live social conversation it's a amazing uh once again you can be the co-host or you can just listen into a conversation uh join us you can join us for the shows that we do for sith council i do it every wednesday at 10 a.m for the brett and christian comedy show or just sen personalities you can join us every day monday through friday at 12 o'clock and then there's random days maybe like on a wednesday at like four o'clock i'll do a schmodown show so there's a lot of stuff already happening on that app so go ahead Check it out. Please go and join Stereo today. I promise you, you're getting ahead of the curve. Stereo.com slash Christian Harlow. Now we get to round number two, the wheel round. How does it go? Love that it's round number two time because it gets the taste of mother out of my mouth. Well, that sounds weird, too. Round number two, here's the rules. It's the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. Each competitor gets a spin at the wheel. Category four questions from that particular realm will pop up at you. Each one's worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question, but stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. So it is a lead for Jade or Christian. It's seven to five in the Hurricanes favor. So Mr. Paramo, would you like to spin first or defer to your machined opponent? This round, man, this round, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> uh, you know what? That I'm gonna go with the momentum. I'm gonna spin first. All right, Kate Mulligan is here now, and she's got 60 <laughs> seconds starting now. That was beautiful work. I love the way you used that JTE because you knew you had it. You used that JTE, boom, we get that point. You're up by two. That doesn't mean anything, Jader. We need to dig in now. This is the day you break your second round curse, okay? I'm telling you, Jader, you spin first. We're gonna get a slice that you are gonna dominate. This is the day. This is the day you never have to worry about the round two again, okay? So dig your heels in now. You have a nice lead, it's beautiful, but we gotta, we gotta stay focused and I love your confidence. We're gonna stay right where that's at. How are you feeling? Feeling great, honestly. I was between 2015 and 16 and I don't, I don't even wanna talk about it. Jader, right, that's, right, done. Right. It's done. that's done, it's done. Who cares, right. that's done. She so also round does two the same time. thing. Boom, it's round two time. Do you want to feel what it feels like to dominate it? Yes, you do. Let's go. Kate Mulligan, the new Kate Mulligan, really inspiring her players, and I like to see it. Here is the spin. It is in. And again, if Jader doesn't like what he spins here, he can spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Which, again, we always put opponent's choice on. Monster movies. All right, you got 60 seconds to decide, Jader, starting now. What's your gut? Oh my god. I don't hate it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't I don't hate this category whatsoever. But how do you think she's gonna be with is... steals if she needs to if I mean, does she pick up some points? Does she take steals from you if you if you go to multiple and don't get it right? I don't know. I don't know where I don't know where she don't sits know. with monster movies, to be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
Um, you see, do you? See, I know we see better things on there. Do you see something absolutely. that's worse than this? Because if worst case scenario, come back to this, we feel comfortable with it. But do you think you see worse things up there? There's one. Okay. There's just there's just this one. So I like the odds. You got okay. me. Um, yep. Yep. Let's go for it. Let's spin again. I agree. Spinning again. I, that was All my right. Two jader. All right. Yeah. Here we go. So whatever Jader gets here, he's going to have to take. And here is the spin. Thriller. All right. So Jader, you spun Thriller. You spun Thriller. And you are going to get four questions in the realm of Thriller. All right. Here you go. Question one. Medical student Nancy Adams travels to a secluded beach in Mexico after her mother's death only to fight for her survival against a shark in what 2010s film? Clock. Five. Four. Multiple choice. Three. All right. Is it A, 48 meters down, B, the shallows, C, the reef, D, 48 meters down, uncaged? Jesus Christ. Um, is it 48 meters down, A? Eh? Is incorrect. Janine, you're going to read the question and the choices here. Medical student Nancy Adams travels to a secluded beach in Mexico after her mother's death, only to fight for her survival against a shark in what 2010s film? Is it A, 48 meters down, B, the shallows, C, the reef, D, 48 meters down, uncaged? The shallows. For one point steal, Janine steals it, gets that point back. All right. Question two. Category thrillers. Who wrote and directed the 90s thriller, The Crying Game, starring Stephen Ray? Five, four, three, two, JT, one. Uh, not JT, I'm sorry. Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Neil Jordan, B, Stephen Frears, C, Stephen Daldry, D, Peter Cateno. It's Neil Jordan. It is, for one point. Here is your third question. David Dunn is a man who is the only survivor of a train accident in what 2000 thriller? Unbreakable. Yes. Two more points. And we see ourselves now 10-6. 10-6, and here is the last one. What 2016 thriller follows a punk band called the Ain't Rights who become witnesses to a murder at a club run by neo-Nazis? It's a green room. It is. Two points. Big round. Good, good, good. Minus the beep. It is a yep. good, good round there for Paramo. Starts off a little flustered in the first two questions, but comes back. And now we see ourselves 12-6. Roxy, you got 60 seconds to talk to Janine starting now. I'm obsessed with exactly where we are. You are doing incredible. What an unbelievable steal. I love the confidence I'm seeing on you right now. You know that two points didn't matter at all, but now when you got that steal back, it literally is irrelevant. You are incredible, and this is your game to win. I know it, Janine. I feel it inside me. He's flustered, and he should be, because you are the teacher, and he is the student, and it's not his time, it's yours. Thank you, thank you. I'm feeling good. Let's spin this wheel. All right, the okay, wheel. Before we spin that wheel, Christian, I'm getting late worded. It's a sponsored wheel, not just a slice. The entire wheel is sponsored. Have oh, a lot wow. of hands from everybody watching for Justin Roby. Thank oh, you. Thanks, Justin. Justin. We have so many great patrons, so many new yeah. patrons, so many returning patrons. So thank you guys so much, and especially thank you to Justin for sponsoring the whole wheel. Big ups on you, Justin. His sponsored slice is Jim Carrey. I would have done the same thing my darn self. Now let's let Janine spin that wheel. All right, here it is. Here's the spin by Janine. Ooh, good spin, Janine. Hey, that she just blinked. That's that's, that's the machine down. age for you. That's what happens when you're a machine. My joke wasn't as good as yours, Mark. I should leave that to you. Oh, it was almost oh, as good as almost. Life. Francis, Francis McDormand. All right, Francis McDormand, you got... Uh, what are you thinking, 60, Janine? 60 seconds. Uh, I'm feeling okay about it. Yep. Yeah. There, there are things I don't want, so... 
This one is pretty narrow. Yeah. Um, which is good. But if you want to spin again, I'm behind you. It depends on how you're feeling uh, with that, Francis, the narrowness of that right now. I think I'll go for it. I think that you've got this. I know that you've got this. This is yours. And remember, you've got your three JTEs. You can always go to multiple choice. Just stay in it. Try to give up no steals. And if you're not sure, go to multiple choice so that he can't steal two points. But we're not even going to make it to that point because you got this. All right. So our competitors are back. Mark. She spawned Francis McDormand. She's got four questions in the realm of Francis McDormand. That's right. Wonderful performer and a wheel slice on Justin Roby's expertly curated wheel. Here we go, Janine. Four questions, two points. Unless you need multiple choice, here's query number one. Francis McDormand received a Best Supporting Actress nomination for what 2000 film from director Cameron Crowe? Almost famous. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Two points for Janine, Christian. All right, here is the second one. Here it is. And it is. Frances McDormand plays the mother of Susie Bishop, a teen girl who goes on the run in what film? Multiple choice. Uh, okay. For a point, your four options, is it A, The Royal Tenenbaums, B, Moonrise Kingdom, C, Almost Famous, or D, Laurel Canyon? D, Laurel Canyon. That is incorrect. And so for a steal, we go to Jader the Hurricane Paramo. Jader going to repeat the question and your options for a point. Frances McDormand plays the mother of Susie Bishop, a teen girl who goes on the run in what film? Is it A, The Royal Tenenbaums, B, Moonrise Kingdom, C, Almost Famous, or D, Laurel Canyon? It's Moonrise Kingdom. It is Moonrise Kingdom, and that's a big steal there. Janine now has one stolen from her, Christian. All right, so he gets back that point she stole, and here's the next question. And it is, for two points, your penultimate question in the category of Francis McDormand, Janine. Francis McDormand won the Best Actress Oscar twice. One for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. And for which other film? Fargo. I hear it's good. Still haven't seen it. You get two points. All right. So here is the final question for Janine in this round. As we see ourselves 13 10, she's trying to get herself within one or two with this question. Big question looming. And it's your final one for round number two. Frances McDormand has a supporting role as the character Zoe. In what rom-com that stars Jack Nicholson and Diane Keaton? Something's Gotta Give. That is a great movie, and I have seen it. Christian, that's two points. We got us a one-point ball game heading into round three. 13-12. What a battle it's been so far. One point separates them going into the third and final round. Mark, how does the final round go? I got you here. Round number three is, don't worry, you don't have to rely on a wheel. You get to rely on whatever number you want. Now, you don't know what that number corresponds to. I'll explain. You give us three numbers each. Those numbers can range from one to 20. Each numeral corresponds to a unique category of movie trivia schmodown goodness. The first question you hear is worth two points. Next one's worth three points. Final one is worth five big points. Questions are to you and only you. There's no stealing. There's no penalty for missing a question. It is a one-point advantage for Jader Paramo. So, Hurricane, you're going to give us your three lucky numbers first. From 1 to 20, what feels fortunate? Let's go. <clears throat> 7, 13, 18. 7, 13, 18. And for Janine? 3, 6, and 9. 3, 6, 9 for Janine. All right. You have two JTEs left and you're leading. That is all that matters at this point. You stay focused. I want you to right now close the private chat. You don't need to see the trash rocks he's talking. And I have nothing to say to you during this round. There's no multiples. Remember you have those two JTEs left. This is your game to win. You're not flustered, you're fantastic. They got the Fs confused. <laughs> How are you feeling? No. I'm feeling great, to be honest with you. I know you, you are. Um, I know you are. I, that's it. Let's go. I'm ready to Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. What are we waiting for? Let's win. Ross, Damn you. Fine. Three, six, nine. The <laughs> sexiest numbers of the season so far, Janine. 
one point are you kidding me think about you what you've done up to this point like we're not going to let one point stop us this is your first match of the season it is yours to win this is going to set the tone you have got this he is flustered he is afraid of you and we are not afraid of him we know what he knows this is yours take your time use your jtes give yourself every second that you need to get these questions right you have got this all right, thank what? you. Feeling good. Oh, you feel it? Yeah! Yes! Yes! People are screaming for you. I feel it through the screen. Machine, machine, machine. All right. All right, our competitors are back. It is a one point game. Paramo up 13 12. Janine will go first to try to bounce it back. All right, Janine, you chose category three. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Here is the question. All right. Brad Pitt plays a tank commander nicknamed War Daddy in which film? Fury. For two points, Janine the Machine. Now she sends it back to Jader Paramo. Janine takes the lead, and Paramo needs to hit his two-pointer mark on uh, Category 7. That's right, Christian. He selected Joe Theismann's number, no doubt, as a nod to me. And his category is going to be two points, and it's in the wild, wacky, wonderful world of scores and soundtracks great <laughs> his enthusiasm is contagious for two points and to regain the lead jader in what mcu sequel is the song brandy played multiple times Five. Is it Guardians of the Galaxy 2? It's correct for two points. That is correct. All right. All right. So now we see ourselves 15, 14. Back to Janine. Janine, you chose category six. Category six. That is in the realm of Steven Spielberg films. Steven Spielberg is your question for your three-point question. Here you go. All right. Steven Spielberg released two films in the year 2002. Name one of them. Five, four, Repeat three. Repeat the question. First one. Steven Spielberg released two films in 2002. Name one of them. Catch me if you can. That's correct for three points. Ooh. Big three pointer for Janine. And she finds herself up now 17, 15. Back and forth we go. And now Jader has category 13, Mark. Dan Marino's number corresponds to the three point question that will be in the category of directors. And Jader, your question for three points and once again to regain the lead. Gary Marshall directed Julia Roberts in four films. What film was their first collaboration? Five, four, three, two. two Second one. All right. In category of directors, Gary Marshall directed Julia Roberts in four films. What film was their first collaboration? Hands up, Jader, please. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No. Same with you, Jeanine. Oh, Jeanine doesn't. There's no steal. There's no steal for Jeanine. That's fine. Five, four. Pretty woman. It's correct. All right, so Jader hits it, 18-17. Back and forth, back and forth, and now Janine has to hit her five in order to force Jader. She hits it, then Jader's got to hit his. She misses, and Jader will take the victory. Janine, you chose category number nine. Category number nine, thrillers. 
thrillers is your category. Are you ready? Ready. Here you go. All right. What classic 50s thriller features characters that are referred to as Miss Lonely Hearts, Miss Torso, and Miss Hearing Aid? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Second one. Second one. Here it is. What classic 50s thriller features characters that are referred to as Miss Lonely Hearts, Miss Torso, and Miss Hearing Aid? Rear window. Correct. Correct. Jader Paramo curses up a storm because he knows that. The, she hit it and she hit it big five point question janine forces it so now so now jader is a position he needs to hit it he hits it he wins if not janine the machine will get the victory mark that's right christian i do think they remade rear window into some tv movie probably with one of the cast members of Wings, and that's pertinent to this conversation because, Jader, you selected number 18, and Peyton Manning's number corresponds to remakes and reboots for five points and the win. Your question. Craig Gillespie directed what 2011 horror remake featuring Emojin Poots and Tony Collette? Five, four, three, Repeat two. the question, please. Last one. Hands okay. up, Jader. Sorry. Category of remakes and reboots. Craig Gillespie directed what 2011 horror remake featuring Emojin Poots and Tony Collette? And five, four. Three, two, six one. Six cents, I don't know. Bright night. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Shuddy the Machine. Janine the Machine does it. Janine the Machine does it. I don't even care how annoying I am. I don't even care how annoying I am. Well, you get... You get to be you get to be annoying with Jen Sturger, who's awaiting both you and Janine in the post interview. What a battle that was! Look at Janine trying to hold the emotion. She's trying to hold it, and I don't blame her. Look, that was a fight. That was a fight. Back and forth they went. Five point question to five point question. Jader just couldn't pull it at the end. He had his best second round that he's had in his Schmodown career, and he played very well. He hit his two. He hit his three. Janine hit her two, her three, and her five. He just couldn't pull it, and Janine does it. Janine wins two in a row. She's starting now to get herself in a position. Now there's this look, man. You look at what's going on. Marisol McKee is out there now. Is Marisol McKee someone that Janine could be facing? Is it a is it a, the video Drew uh, video Drew or um, or or uh, Elliot Dewberry? Um, very interesting on what could happen uh, as we see Janine now pick up this victory. You know, the question was in remakes and reboots. And Christian, I got to be honest, I could go for a remake reboot of the match we just saw time and time again yeah. because that was Good. thrilling. Good. Twist, turns, steals. Round number one was up and down. And then you get to round number three. And that's when we saw both competitors with their best stuff. Jader couldn't quite pull it, got pushed to the limit, and couldn't quite get over the edge from Janine the Machine. Certainly haven't heard the last of the hurricane this season. But right now, it's machine time as we are going to have what could be a very celebratory, possibly emotional, tears of joy style post-match interview with our own Jen Sturger. Jen, you got Roxy, you got Janine, and now you have the floor. Janine, I see you holding back the tears. What has this match meant to you today? I know that there, you're one of those competitors that I truly feel like the record 
does not match the caliber of the player because you've had so many of these matches that have come down to the wire it just hasn't gone your way for whatever reason and i feel like we're starting to find a groove now well i i, I owe it to roxy i think she is what put me over the edge um this is my senior year in the schmodown so to kind of get these losses and you know kind of feeling down on myself each year just having it not happen um to have this win is amazing jader is an amazing competitor i mean i know from personal experience working with him i know how good he is and he's here for a reason so you know it was a little it was a little scary it was a little bit daunting but roxy and the stars gave me so much confidence and helped me prepare they they went above and beyond for me so i owe it to the stars and i owe it to roxy Let's talk about a little bit about the back and forth between you guys. I mean, you <laughs> took each other to the limits. Yeah. Were you getting at all nervous when it came down to that last five pointer? Um, I, I know Jader knows horror. So that was something that uh, got me a little uh, concerned about. I was like, okay, this is horror. This is recent horror. I, I think he's gonna get this. I think he's, I think he's just faking. Uh, but I, I, I was really nervous, but when he couldn't pull it out, oh my gosh. <laughs> That feeling was is amazing. Roxy, how are you feeling right now? I saw you exploding in the chat so much so that no one else could get a word in edgewise. <laughs> That's true, Jen. You know, I think you described it perfectly and not this year, just not again. This isn't happening to Janine again. It's just not. And she has been the unluckiest player in the Schmodown and we're done with that. And we're closing that door and we're moving forward. And I'm excited to watch Jader for the rest of his run in the Schmodown because I think he really is an awesome player. And uh, he's an awesome player because Janine taught him to be. And I think his time will come. But it's just not now. And this is Janine's time. And she earned it. And every single person who's out there watching this, I think whether you've been on Team Janine before or not, the, the lesson here is to see what she's done, to see that she has never given up and to watch her absolutely dominate this season because that's what's about to happen. What's been different about your strategy with her that you think that she just wasn't getting from other managers potentially? True belief. I mean, I've wanted Janine for a really long time and I wanted her last year so badly and it just didn't happen. The cards didn't fall that way. And when I was able to get her this year, I just knew there was nothing that was gonna stop us. I think that a lot of people know how good Janine is, but I know how great Janine is. And I'm I'm ready for Janine to know that. And I think that today was the start of that on what's gonna be a, a long journey of greatness. So how does that he feel hearing your manager say those words to you though, Janine? Because I feel like there are times that even you doubt yourself. I think there were times that you even considered, you know, t stepping away from singles for a little bit and focusing on teams. It's like, what made you stick with it? Uh, definitely the con confidence boost from Roxy. Like, it was definitely getting hard for me to want to continue on uh, just with the record and the overrated and all that stigma that kind of comes along with this game and being at it for so long and just not getting where I wanted to be. Um, but Roxy's whole belief in me and just making sure I knew that I felt that um, definitely just gave me the boost that I needed that kick in the ass that I needed so <laughs> <laughs> she has a way of doing that I gotta yeah. say she can reel in Jeff Snyder she can reel in pretty much anyone uh, so now look there's there's Marisol out there there's Kevin Smith there's Stacy Howard Elliot Dewberry video drew although she may try to marry you um, what do what do you want next um, I mean, I'm up for anything. I would love to take Stacy on again and, you know, kick her butt up like a third time. This, this would be like <laughs> a third time. So, you know, uh, you know, three's a magic number. So, you know. You two do have very <laughs> magical, fun chemistry together. So I won't, I won't lie. That would be a match that I would want to see on my card too. Bring it on, whoever, bring yeah. it on. Roxy, before we let you go, Damon defends tonight on pay-per-view. How are you feeling about tonight's match? I'm feeling like Damon is, the greatest champion that the Schmodown has ever seen and what he's been able to do is so incredible and it doesn't matter who we are playing it does not matter it whoever is going to come in his way he's going to take them out like a brick house because he is just truly that good and anybody who doesn't who doesn't think that he's going to just hold on to that belt until the earth collapse the earth actually would have to collapse 
for Damon to lose that belt. So that's how I'm feeling, Jen. Thank you so much for asking. Let's hope there is an apocalypse tonight. Best of luck to you, Roxy, and congratulations, Janine. It's just, I am so happy for you. I think we all are. Thank you. I like the star. I don't think anybody mentioned the, the big star that Roxy had and the fact that she's embracing the stars and she's also producing stars. Look at what she has done so far. And and Jen's right. Jen's absolutely right. She's she's done something where she's able to bring out the, the confidence in the players because the talent is there. The knowledge is obviously there. We've known that about Janine. And I said it in the beginning was that the knowledge has always been there. It's it always seemed this is the difference this match of her, ma her matches prior. And you go, if you go, if you rewind in past seasons, the five pointer, she misses. She usually, she would get that close and she'd have that much of, a, she's always putting up fights. She's putting up a fight in every match. It's like, okay, it's Riley, it's in Draco. Like, oh, there she is. She's, she's there and then misses the five. Not this time. This time it was very different. This time it was scrap, 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 take my time, breathe, listen to what Roxy say, calm down, boom, hits it. And Jader, is also does not look like a guy that just we randomly found out of the crowd. He looks like a guy that has been playing this game for a bit. Yeah, he took the loss, but he, but look at the loss. When you take a loss like this, I'm sure he's going to be bummed. I'm sure he's going to tell Jen that he's bummed, but it's a matter. I think Kate has done for Jader what Roxy has done for Janine. So I, I'm excited to hear the kid talk. Yeah, it speaks to the growing level of knowledge and experience amongst our fan base that Jader was able to rise from those ranks and now prove himself as a worthy competitor here in the movie Trivia Schmodown. And for fans of Janine out there, you're just waiting for her to stick that landing. And boy, did she do so today with the, the gymnast flourish and everything. It was a 10 out of 10 in the Olympics here. It's just good enough for a win. And when a win happens... Unfortunately, on the other side of that is someone who takes the loss, but they're going to take it on the chin and the hurricane, I'm sure, will be back. And I imagine he's going to be bummed, but also have confidence in his ability to bounce back. All right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how he's feeling and how his manager, Kate Mulligan, is feeling as they are now with Jen Sturger. Jen, take it away. Oh, Jader, don't start by pouting. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, oh, you're breaking kidding, my I'm heart kidding. over here. I'm kidding. Christian's oh, absolutely match. right. You exactly. Hell of a match. You don't look like a guy that was plucked from an audience. Let's put it that way. All right. Were there things that you took away from this match, though, that you think you'll carry forward going into your career? I would. I wish I would have picked uh, Janine's number because I knew her five. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone with nine. Oh. Um, honestly, it's it it's a, it went exactly how I pictured it. I knew it was going to be neck and neck. Um, obviously bummed out because i do love horror and i don't know why you know obviously it's a five pointer they're not going to tell you you know that colin farrow and until yelp thing was in the film so had they said that i would have gotten like that i could like blanked out with tony collette whatsoever you know um but you know it is what it is you know and just like uh mark said that you know with when there's a winner there's a loser unfortunately i'm sitting on this side now um i will and i'm saying right now we'll see janine again anytime because i'm not gonna rematch. lie this feels I need like my a, people it feels people like need it to see this really right now feud. <laughs> yeah, it feels absolutely. like it could be a fun feud going forward i'm not gonna lie i'm loving this energy especially between you guys and your managers kate i i mean aside from the loss you have to be feeling pretty good about his gameplay today and i feel like we may have overcome that that second round yips if you will Absolutely. And I, I feel incredible about his gameplay. Uh, what I don't feel great about is um, some of Roxy's takes on uh, what was happening today. Oh, so I'll go to the private chat here, which is supposed to be where managers can give coaches and, you know, say things. Uh, one point, Vader can suck it because he wears a backwards hat and Gen's think, Gen Z thinks that's lame. Um, uh, let's see. Jader is a hater. All caps. Suck my D Jader U B. So I just want to say that Jader, uh, if this was a studio match, um, I don't think those things would be able to be said to Jader. So this is what I'm going to say. Y'all made me mad. You made mama mad today. Okay. That was a mistake. When moms get mad, they lift trucks off their babies. Okay. So this is what I'll say. We'll see you in a studio match when we're back in studio and we'll see how this goes. And let me tell you something. You ever heard that expression, let go, let God today. I'm saying, let go, let the fans. Cause I'm you, you guys can cry over how happy you are about this match. 
You wait to see what the fans have to say about this. This was not your match. If you're crying, it should be from embarrassment. Okay. Um, yep, covered that, covered that. Uh, mm -hmm. Jader, let's talk a little bit about the match, if you don't mind, just for a quick second. Are you disappointed at all that you spun away from Monsters? Like, do you feel like it would have gone either way? No, honestly, like I said, uh, there was uh, one point. Out of the whole wheel, there was only one thing that I was like, no. I don't you don't have to tell me what that is. Keep your no, secret. No, of course okay. not. I, I, I keep your secret out there. So when I spun thrillers, overall, I, I felt like it was all right. Shallow Question is another one that once I heard and I second guessed myself because I'm like, I don't remember her mom dying or anything like that. And, you know, it, it happened. Um, not disappointed. This has been my best round two match. Everybody knows that it's a freaking stigma <laughs> for me. I hate the I hate the second round, it's so not, I am pretty proud of it. It's you over. Know, I hate, I, I got really happy. At the end, once round two ended, I was like, oh, I can't, you know, I can breathe again. Um, so can't say that I'm disappointed, to be um, completely honest with you. You led the entire match until the very last question. So I know that's the L. I got it. We took it. You know, would you have known Rear Window? Yeah, I, I actually knew Rear Window. You know what I mean? That's how you can tell a five pointer is not really a five pointer because if I can answer it, but she had to really think about that one. Though all of this being said, the truth is, Jader, that you were winning that entire match. Your five pointer, you didn't hit, she hit hers. We took the L. But I am nothing but proud of what I saw today. And I'm also proud of the way we conduct ourselves. And honestly, let's we we all know why Christian likes that star. Well, uh, Jader, so now you're two and two. Uh, is there anyone that you're looking at out there as like, this is my next match? Bring whoever you want. I know. I, I know. I got the, again. You said I don't look like somebody that was picked out of the crowd. It's not by mistake. I love film. I love the sport. Um, again, from Miami, drove to Orlando to see this event, and I ended up getting being one of the luckiest persons ever to be just part of this family. So just line them up, and we're gonna start taking them out. You know, well, this is uh, this. So. You may consider yourself lucky, but we feel lucky to have you in the league. So, so tough loss today, sir. But we will be seeing you again very soon. Thank you. All right. So as Mark tries to slam dunk through his television, we are going to really talk about what an incredible, incredible match that was. It was just a an absolute slugfest in the middle of the ring. Two fighters just punching and punching and punching until finally someone just got so exhausted and fell down. So it was it was really good. It's it's a big win for Roxy. It's a massive win for Janine. Um, and Roxy ain't done. She's not done in just a little bit. Her competitor, Alex Damon, the longest running champion in any division in Schmodown history, puts his title on the line tonight against the hunter, Andrew Dimolanta. He goes to try to become the first person to ever defend a singles championship five times he was he was already the first person to ever defend a, an individual championship four times but now he goes to do it five he's on pace mark to try to tie the patriots record of six title defenses can he do it tonight pay-per-view that match and william bibiani versus paul oyama ten dollar patrons you get it all and as i mentioned next month the free-for-all it goes down I was just—I just wanted to show everybody the tie I was going to wear tonight. See, that's a wizard, and that's a Shira, I believe. And so it's going to be a nice theme for the pay-per-view. But let's not bury what we just witnessed here, Christian. The machine and the hurricane. We knew it was going to be one hell of a twisting, turning, a twister of a match. And it ended up being just that. It went the way of the machine. She celebrates with tears of joy and victory, but Jader looks like his resolve has only been stoked. There's more coal in that fire than there ever has been. I think him and Kate have a nice working relationship, and so we are going to see a lot more from Jader, and you're going to see a lot more of the movie trivia schmodown because we have an epic pay-per-view on the way in just a few. going to go turn on the circus hose, clean myself up, get a change, maybe a shave, and then it's game time. Hoo. That's right, and by the way, 
If you guys are wanting to support this year for everybody, you look at the hard work that Kate puts in, that Roxy puts in, that uh, the all of the competitors put in, all the managers, then the way you support it this year is you go to the Skybound store. The link is in the description here, and you pick up your favorite merch. Hell, maybe you love the Den and you love the stars. Well, get a star sweatshirt and get a, get a, uh, a Den uh, mug, and that a per percentage of the profits go to a big pool at the end of the year and that is what everyone fights for at the end of the year it helps it it rewards the players it rewards everybody so when you are doing it and you're getting a great shirt by the way too and you're getting a great piece of merchandise so i don't know why you don't have all the merchandise anyway that's just me talking mark i'm excited for tonight i can't wait to see it i can't wait for everything else thank you to jen sturger thank you to our great team over at skybound thank you to you my friend and we will Oh man, uh, this Star Wars match is getting me pumped up. Yeah, why don't you go out? I, I think you got a hammock in your backyard, so why don't you go take some Z's, yeah. okay? D don't worry, the kitties will take care of themselves. They'll be fine. They'll run in with a slice of pizza probably during the first match. You'll be well fed. It's true. And I mean, you talk about eating. Boy, the fans have a feast for their eyes, for their ears, and for movie trivia celebrators everywhere. The pay per view's coming up. All right, so for gr the great Mark Ellis. I'm Christian Harloff. See you next time. Hey, man. I, Dude, I am so excited. You're a quirky Merc. I'm so excited to dive into this season with you. I am ready to go. How are you, man? How am I? How how, how am I? Really? I mean, just, let's just start with the offseason, Koi. I mean, we haven't talked since then. I mean... Everybody wants to talk about Dragon Gun players. They're going to be the ones to take down Damon, and they all have to forget that I'm facing Damon first. I'm facing Damon first, and Thomas Harper gets drafted before me, an unproven rookie. Sure, he's won Dragon Con, but that's Dragon Con. Let's talk about the Schmodown. This is the Schmodown, right? I, I, I hear you. I, I'm with you, but that's all going to change. Like, yeah. once you're out there, people are shiny objects. You, They're distracted by what's going on right you, now. You, this you would is think, your season. You would think, because, like, nobody's talking about this match against Damon and me. I mean, I've been waiting for this for so long. I've been, I've been constantly vocal about it everywhere, and... All everybody wants to talk about is, oh, Laura Kelly is back into the mix and she gets her title shot now. And like, where's the respect? I, I've been I in hear this you. for three I hear, years. I do. I, I hear this is all. This is this is Finstock dialogue. I'm here. OK, so. Quirky Merc energy. We've got happiness. We've got positivity. we got animals. we got adorables. we got Finstock energy. We've got ugh, monsters and oh, it's a symbiote. It's slimy. It's gross. It's bad time. Happy, quirky. Finstock exchangey. We need this energy. Okay. Uh, I I see right here that I'm going to have to get a smile out of you, and I see that's not happening. Okay. So we're going to try a visual, a visual aid. Okay. I want you to think about the color blue. I want you to think about happiness. I want to think about vibrant, vibrant, vibrant colors, which is like a bright, vibrant color. I want you to think happy. Now you're feeling gray. I see the gray, okay? Let's get you smiling. Let's get you quirky. Let's get you murky. No more gray, okay? All right, I, I didn't want to have to do this, all right? But this is the secret weapon of the quirky mercs. Dance party. It's time for a dance party. Did someone say dance party? Hey, Andrew. Oh! Ah! Ah!